All right. So here we are again. This is the last time I'm going to talk about this subject because I'm tired of this subject. So here's the deal about Sub Zero. Here's the deal on why we hate Sub Zero. I got on uh, several talks with people yesterday on Twitter about Sub Zero. And uh, here's the deal. First of all, you can't make the argument that the top five are better than sub, and that's why sub is not good. The, this is one of the most annoying arguments I hear all the time. Just because this guy over here is robbing you doesn't mean this guy over here holding a gun to your head and saying he wants to do something bad is absolved of his sins, right? So the deal with Sub-Zero is the reason why we actually hate Sub more than the top five in certain situations is because Sub-Zero literally, ro like he actually robs in the game. Like the game is focused around footsies and neutral and Sub is playing footsies and neutral while mixing you. That's why we don't like the game. It's not that hard to understand. I don't know how many times I have to tell people this. Like it's not hard to understand. It's not the fact that it's the fact that sub puts you in a situation where you have to guess. It's the same reason people hate mid command grabs because mid command grabs put you in a situation where you have to guess. But I'll always say this, like the difference between sub and mid command grabs is that if you take the throw, if you take the throw, sub is still, it doesn't matter which way you guess. Sub is going to put you in a situation where you take 30%, 25%, it doesn't matter how he mixes you. It doesn't matter, right? Other characters, they you always have the option to take the throw. Like that is the main big difference between sub and those characters. Now the reason we don't complain about sub, or we don't complain about other 50-50 characters in the game, Shiva, Terminator, Baraka, is because they aren't doing, and before you call, uh, uh, Raiden a mixed character. Raiden's not a mixed character. He's a strike throw character. Um, he mixes you off strike throw. So it's not nearly as bad. You can take the throw again. It's the same concept. Like you take the throw, you do a wake up attack, you get out of the way, you're good to go. It's like no different than most of the top five. You could argue Jackie is kind of an exception, but we'll, we'll talk about that some other day. So the reason why sub is good is because he has all these options in the neutral that make you guess right they make you forced to play neutral against his neutral right so the axe is safe depending on the jump obviously the axe is safe right it's minus nine you're, you're not you're not you're getting hit by the axe i think the axe is plus two so like yeah it's plus 12 so you could probably do like a down four or something like that so you, you're not guessing his jump-ins for the most part. His jump-ins are broken anyway, so you probably don't want to hand here. He's got a full screen slide. Like literally, this is like almost full screen. When you look at noob slide. Oops. Noob slide doesn't go nearly as far. See? See how noob has to be right about here to hit sub? But then sub doesn't have to be that far, so, or sub can be further. See see that? And subs is faster, it's 11 frames. Sub is not playing the same neutral noob is playing. Noob is actually easier to beat because of what I said earlier. Noob slide can be jumped. You can't jump sub slide and get away, and like, like if you jump sub slide, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna get a punish because sub's gonna be on the other side. Now you can block it, which is most people's arguments, but the thing is, the threat of the slide keeps you in crouch block the whole game. So because sub is on the screen, you have to take all of his neutral. It always comes back to this, like, you can't sit outside sub's range because he can actually still slide you there. And even if you do, he can jump and throw axes. And then when you finally get in, sub has 50-50s, and then on top of that, the threat of the slide from this range causes sub to do dash up forward two, dash up back three, because you're stuck in crouch block. And then finally, you can't zone sub zero. You can zone noob to an extent, you can't zone sub, because if you zone sub and he hits you with one ice ball, you've lost all your zoning. 
Like, it's not that hard to understand. This character is annoying to deal with. The character is good. The character is solid. Even if you play him solid, the character is still solid. You have to have a little bit of dirt, though. Because, obviously... Oh, I forgot. This is the uh, Rising Ice variation. Um, obviously, if you don't play him with a little bit of dirt, you're not going to be able to rob people. Like, it's not... I don't understand what people don't get what I'm saying. Like, just because you can block a 50-50 doesn't make a character less stupid. Especially if the character... Like, it, it really does come down to the fact that Sub has all these neutral tools, and they just tacked a 50-50 onto him. Like, I'm so tired of arguing this. Like... I made my statement. Just admit your character is good. It's fine. Admit the character is strong. The character is probably in the top six. Like, it's literally right behind the top five. Like, don't act like the character is, like, this much lower than the top five. Finally, I want to make my last statement. The reason, the other reason we hate Sub-Zero, or at least why I hate Sub-Zero, is because Sub-Zero, literally, like, I'm not going to name anyone, but I've seen games where Sub-Zero players literally cannot hit confirm. The reason why this annoys me is because I'm out here playing Noob Cybot trying to jail his highs. I'm out here playing Frost trying to play as solid as I can. You know, delay midding, doing everything, right? But Sub-Zero players can't even hit confirm their low. Like, that, that's, that's the type of shit that's like, dude, oh, so you are carried by your mix. Because what else are the subs players doing? Sliding from full screen, throwing ice balls, jumping in for free. Do you see what I see what I'm saying? See how like see how like there's a, so much ass play in all the characters' tools? What the hell, where is this move? I'm getting mad. Um What the fuck? Oh, that's the rising ice. Uh where is it? Axe, there we go. Like, see how, see how, like, there's so much ass play in all these characters? That's why we don't like the character. Like, at least with Jackie, even, in certain situations... Well, no, let's not use Jackie. Um, let's use... Mm, Cetrion's kind of... Eh, I don't know. I guess none of the top five are really trying to hit confirm. Maybe Cetrion off of her highs. I don't know. But the whole point that I'm trying to make is that these characters, they don't require much... They don't require fundamentals in the game. Like, they don't. They just don't require as much fundamentals. You don't have to confirm with sub. You can just hit him with a poke, and then you're plus, and now they have to guess 50-50. You know, if they get hit by this, they're getting launched anyway. Even if they jump, they're still getting launched. That's not a hit confirm. That's that's not a hit confirm, right? Um, That's why we don't like this character. Like, I'm, I'm just fed up with this, like... I, I I don't understand, like, people don't understand that, like, to beat Sub-Zero, like, that's another thing, like, to beat Sub-Zero, you actually have to disrespect plus frames, because if you don't, he's just gonna mix you, like, see how Sub plus 4 here, look at this, look how slow his forward 2 is, it's not that hard to understand, forward 2 is 19 frames, if he's plus 4, that means his forward 2 will come out and, what do you guys think, class, what do you guys think, 15 frames, which means that if you mash a poke, He's, he's going to get poked out of his forward too, right? Obviously, this is 13 frames. That comes out in 9 frames. If you mash a poke that's 7 frames, that's going to beat that, right? It's not that hard to understand. Like, the reason why you mash on sub in certain situations is because you actually don't guarantee the mix. You know, now he's forced to down 1, then you block the down 1. Now he's minus 6. Now he can't do his forward too. See what I'm saying? So there's a mind game there, right? If you jump, you have a chance of getting hit by forward two. So you don't want to always jump. Sometimes you want to mash. Sometimes you don't want to mash. If you block the down one, then you can take your turn. If you feel like he's going to mix you immediately, you down one. It's not that hard to understand. That's the other thing, too, is like I've noticed like most people who complain about characters actually haven't labbed how strong the character is. Like they haven't spent time in the lab like I do trying to figure out why the character functions the way that they do. The reason why I'm able to play Frost against some of the better players isn't because Frost is secretly good. It's because I labbed Frost. I understand how she functions. I understand that the mind game behind the character and her game plan is to force you into the corner. And her down three anti airs are actually what allows her to be very good at that because characters like Johnny and... Um, what's another good character in the corner? Uh, Kotal actually 
well, Kotal not as much, but Johnny mostly, they struggle to anti-air. So in certain situations where they have a really strong corner game, they actually can't anti-air you jumping at them. So they end up losing their corner because you can just jump. Like, these are all things, like, I figured out playing the game and labbing characters. And this is why I know sub is good. I know sub is good. It's not... It's not like I think sub is good, as I know sub is good. I've looked at all his tools, I've, seen, I've played enough Sub-Zero players, I've lost enough bad ones to understand that the character at the end of the day is a 50-50 character, and you can lab till you're blue in the face, but the problem is the 50-50s are tacked onto the character, and that's what makes the character strong. There's players out here literally not hit-confirming because the character is carried by 50-50s. Yes. Sub is not as good as the top five. I concede to that, but that literally doesn't fucking matter because sub is holding you at gunpoint while the other top five players are robbing you and taking your money. There's literally no difference. Like, yes, he's lower, so what? Nerf all of them. They bought they all have broken tools. You know, if you want them to play like MK11 is supposed to be played, either nerf all of them or give my katana a fan toss that when it hits you, she can combo you in the air like every other fucking game. Like, I shouldn't be playing MK11 and then these characters are out here robbing me half the time. Like, it's just annoying. But I'm done. I'm done I'm done talking about Sub-Zero. I'm not going to talk about him on Twitter anymore. I know he's strong. I've laughed him enough. I understand how he plays. I don't care how many tournament results players have. I really don't. That doesn't matter to me. It's more like I've labbed the tools and I understand how the character plays. And I've watched other players play them. To the highest level that do know how to hit confirm and i can confirm that the character is just really stupid and really good so anyway and finally i want to touch i guess i'll touch on this last thing so yes sub zero's four two might be re reactable but even if it is reactable the fact that it blows up micro ducking alone makes it really strong because you're for you're still forced into a 50 50 position so I know people are going to make that excuse that like the forward two is punishable and it's reactable, but if you micro duck, it's not. So yeah, like it doesn't matter which way you slice it. Sub is a really strong character and he's really annoying and a lot of players don't like playing against him because they're poised into a situation where they're not playing neutral and then when they finally are playing neutral, sub can just walk up and forward to you. Anyway, I'm done. I'm not going to talk about this again, ever again. I'm tired of it. I'm just... It, I feel like I'm talking around in circles or in a square box where I'm hitting points and we're just going back to the same points every single time because people downplay their character based off the top five. But the thing is, like, your character is still good. Like, I'm not going to sit here and tell you Noob is not good. Noob is a good character. Noob is lower than Sub because, because of the things I mentioned. But Noob is good. Noob is a very strong character. Noob is up there. He's probably, like, top 15, top 10. I'm not going to argue that Frost isn't good. Frost is really good, in my opinion. I think Frost only has three really, well, mm, excluding top five, excuse me, uh, and sub. <laughs> um, I don't think Frost has as many losing matchups as people think she does. I think she has a lot of really good matchups. I think she does well against characters like Terminator, characters like um, uh, Katana, um, Aaron. She does really, really well against Aaron. She does well against Noob. Like, I think she does well against... I think she does... No, she doesn't do well against uh, Joker, because Joker can duck the auger. But, um... I think she does well against more characters than not. And that's one of the main reasons I main her, because she can act actually anti her. Like, I'll never downplay my character. I know my characters are good, you know? Um, I know Katana's trash, but the other two characters, Noob and Frost, I think they're good, and I understand their spots and why they are where they are, and I think that Frost is better than the average. I just think you have to play Frost solid, and no one plays her solid. They argue about her her dumbass gaps that you literally don't have to do. Like, there's no reason you should be doing back to two. You know, I watch people do back to two all the time, and I'm like, why are you doing it? Just do back to two when they don't have meter. Like, it's... I don't know. I'm sorry if I sound like egotistical i really don't want to it's just like we've had three years to play this game and people are still doing things are playing a certain way and i'm like wow that's fundamental you didn't learn yet that's interesting like it's just i don't know i don't know what to think because like i thought as a community we could be better as players 
but there's an argument for the other fighting game players being better than us because it seems like they have more fundamentals down than most of us do you know and i don't know i don't know what that means i just want us to be a very good community i want us to be very strong the reason why i add people on kl uh, is because like I want to teach them as much as I can. I want them to get as good as I have if I beat them, and if they're not as good as me, I or if or if they're better than me, I want to learn from them, you know. But at the same time, like I want to get as many people into the scene. I want them to get good, you know. But like I just feel like I don't know. Like people are just they're they're either too busy playing only maining Jackie and not learning neutral, or you know. They're really, really good players like Combat. Like, I, I look up to players like Combat and Ninja because those players have really, really solid fundies. Like, Combat, I can tell. Like, just the, the characters he plays. Like, he knows, he understands the game, and he's learned all of the fundamentals of the game, you know? When I refer to fundamentals, I refer to, I'm refer i referring to things like spacing, jailing, um, which a lot of people don't know how to do. I'm talking about jailing pokes. Um... What else? Uh, projectiles, when to throw a projectile, rhythm, things like that. Like those, those are the things I'm referring to. Um, and I, I just see a lot of people just pick top, top five, top ten characters, and they just never learn any of that stuff. So I don't know what it means. I, I really don't. I, the only thing I can think of is in the next game, they're really going to get punished for picking the top five and, and not learning fundamentals. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll never come back to bite them. I don't know. But anyway, I'm done. Have fun playing MK11. Sorry, this is a more somber video. I just really want players to get good. I, I just... When I look at, like, top gameplay, I just get surprised a lot. That's, a, that's probably the best way of putting it. So, I'll see you guys later.